So here we are with the testing material playlist and we're doing our motion test to see how the motion is on the Samsung S95C. Now, so far, so good with horizontal panning motions. I'm not noticing anything breaking apart whatsoever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and raise the ISO a little bit just so you guys can maybe see a little bit more. Now I'm running into some clipping, so I'm gonna to have to turn it back down just a little bit, but so far so good. Now I'm noticing some artifacts to the far left hand side of the screen. Um, there's some jittering happening here on the train. So that test definitely failed. The second one failed. Now we're doing the helicopter test and we're gonna wait to see if we see some artifacts. I'm seeing some artifacts, but it's not that bad. I can still make out the shape of the blades. It's not breaking apart just yet. Not quite yet. We have artifacts, but it's not totally broken. So that's actually pretty good. Looking at the corners here, they don't look bad. That one actually, I'll give that one a pass. That's not bad. Now, as we're going through the tunnel with complex geometry, we're looking to see if we have a screen filled with artifacts. And so far, I don't see a screen filled with artifacts. While they are definitely present to the far right side, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a detriment to the image quality. So let's see what we have in between the lines. This represents anime fights, and usually if it's really bad, you'll notice all kinds of artifacts and things like that. And again, I'm just not noticing anything like that. This represents galaxy scenes and movies when they pan in hyperspace, and I'm not seeing anything like that break apart. All in all, the motion seems to be really good. Not the best I've ever seen it in terms of like hyper-realistic fluidity from the motion processing, but it's clean, and I think that's really important. Um, this is super smooth right now. I don't have any issue with this as well. So, so far, so good. Um, we're gonna now look for, I see jittering, but I don't see any breaking apart. That was actually really impressive. I'm glad I didn't see any issue there with the buildings. Now let's see if we can see the hockey pucks or hockey sticks breaking apart, which I can't. Um, let's look for ghosting or other issues. There's digitization on the hockey puck itself when it's hit, but for all intents and purposes, the players are smooth. I noticed some issue with the red helmet though. And now we're looking at the checkerboard pattern to see if there's any issues as far as artifacts. And all I notice is some judder but not motion breakdown. All in all, I think so far we can give this maybe a 7.5 out of a 10 as far as motion, at least as far as the test pattern indicates, and we're gonna, we're gonna have to see what real content does next. So now we're looking at some YouTube videos, and uh, the one I've decided to pick is, uh, what is this one called? This is called the Special 4K HDR 120 FPS Dolby Vision Demo. That's a mouthful. Uh, but at least we're able to get an idea of what this looks like so far. Motion is a bit on the digitized side. Um, that, that black light glow is stunning. It's just absolutely incredible. Very beautiful. I feel like obviously there is another level that color can go to. I'm not totally sold on the color. It definitely does seem a little bit less punchy, if you will, than what I'm used to. Um, especially like having seen this exact demo on the Samsung S95B. I'll definitely say like, as I look at it, I'm not exactly seeing like a massive upgrade over that. If I'm just being honest, I mean, I'm gonna have to see it with more stuff, but that's my initial assessment for that. Um, let's try to get some fast moving motion on the screen. The players run, the legs definitely have some artifacts around them, a little bit more on examples like this. 